Welcome once again. In this video, we're going to talk about what is an anomian. Now, you can also say anomian. It comes from the Greek. Actually, the Greek word is anomian. Found in Matthew chapter 7, verses 21 to 23. These are the words of Jesus himself. He said, Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter into the kingdom of heaven. But he who does the will of my Father who is in heaven. Many will tell me in that day, Lord, Lord, didn't we prophesy in your name? In your name cast out demons, and in your name do many mighty works. Then I will tell them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you who work iniquity. That word iniquity in the original Greek manuscripts is anomian. It comes from the word namos, which means law. And in a lot of cases, it is translated from the Hebrew word Torah. So namos is Torah, God's law. So the Greek word anomian is the word namos with the prefix of a, which is negative. For example, we have atheist, which is a theist, okay? So the atheist is someone who is negative to theism saying there is no God, not believing in a God. Whereas the anomian is someone who says no to God's law, who says that we don't have a law to go by, they don't believe in the law of God. So an anomian or an anomian is actually a professing Christian who says that we don't have to go by God's law. They are people who come to the Lord, profess Him as Lord, who have faith, and even do many mighty miracles. Jesus never denied that. Let's read that passage one more time. Jesus said, Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven. Notice, they come to Jesus and profess Him as Lord. Think about it for a minute. That is what a lot of people today say is how you get saved. You know, you come to Jesus and you confess Him as your Lord. But Jesus said there will be many who will come to Him, come to Him, and profess Him as Lord. Verse 22, Jesus said, Many will tell me in that day, Lord, Lord, didn't we prophesy in your name, and in your name cast out demons, and in your name do many mighty works? Then I will tell them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you anomian. Notice Jesus did not deny that they prophesy in his name. And you know, there's a lot of people today, especially in charismatic circles, that if you prophesy, wow, you're a prophet. And that's like the, uh, that's like the pinnacle of spirituality. And, and, and you got to you listen to every word of the prophet. And you, and you go to you know, all these different meetings to hear a word from the prophet. But it is possible that that prophet could go to hell, according to the word of Jesus. And look what else Jesus said. Many people will have the power to do exorcisms. And even they, it is possible that even they can go to hell, being completely rejected by Jesus. Anomism is the thing that is plaguing the church today more than any other thing. It is the most evil thing that this world has ever seen. People who proclaim to be Christians and deny and reject the law of God, living like there is no law. They are true anomians.